If you consider that it has been shown that 10% of all admitted ICU patients develop an acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, and their mortality is, depending on the severity, between 35 and 45%, then I'm really worried. This shows that everything necessary to prevent ARDS should be done. Since it is difficult to reduce the mortality of established ARDS, it is important to shift from treatment to prevention. Wouldn't it be good if there is something like a recipe that counteracts the development of ARDS? It's recruitment of the lung, specifically of dependent compartments. While recruitment is affected by time and pressure, the elevated mean airway pressure contributes to the recruitment of slow recruitable compartments of the lung. Well, it's not just one single aspect. There are more ingredients. Alveoli must be kept open and prevented from overdistension and collapse. It is important to prevent stress and strain caused by atelectasis and overdistension, which means carefully ventilating the healthy compartments of the lung while preventing collapse of alveoli. Ventilation therapy should ideally support spontaneous breathing. But how should this be done altogether? APRV, this is short for Airway Pressure Release Ventilation. This has been described first by Downs. It implies ventilation on two different CPAP levels and supports unrestricted spontaneous breathing at both levels. But is that really safe? Well, it stabilizes alveoli ventilation and prevents further development of edema. APRV facilitates spontaneous breathing by delivering continuous positive airway pressure and augments ventilation with brief pressure releases to support CO2 removal.